The human body, intricate, remarkable, and infinitely complex. Powered by a heart that beats a billion times by the age of 30. Directed by a brain with almost 100 billion neurons capable of feats of endurance, of creating beauty, and of experiencing joy. Here at the National Institutes of Health, we explore the body's cells, decode its genes, investigate its microbes, test its potential to fight disease, treat it when things go wrong, all with one goal, helping Americans live longer, healthier, happier lives. Thanks in large part to NIH research, the cure rate for the most common childhood leukemia is 90%. HIV AIDS, once a fatal disease, is now a treatable disorder. And blood thinning drugs, such as TPA, are used regularly to prevent strokes and save lives. NIH research has contributed to the nearly 70% drop in heart disease and the 27% reduction in cancer deaths from a couple of decades ago. But these gains represent only a fraction of the work that NIH does. Our life-saving research is pioneered by our people. People working on the frontiers of medicine and science people with a passion for helping others. Thousands of people, both at NIH and at research centers across the country, who dedicate every day to making discoveries about how life works and finding new treatments and cures. Our everyday heroes are researchers, clinicians, patients, volunteers, and the thousands of people who proudly keep the agency running at its best all with a drive to contribute to NIH's mission of turning discovery into health. I was diagnosed with advanced metastatic cervical cancer. It was body-wide at that point. Participating in the trial obviously wasn't likely to work for me, but I thought that it would be something good I could do for the person 10 years down the road. They cleared out my immune system with a uh, very heavy-duty chemo to make space for the new immune system that they built me and came back a month later. He put my scans up from February of that year. These spots are all tumors. And then do you see this one's from yesterday? He said those spots are all gone. In that clinical trial, out of 16, I was one of two that it worked for. They had now designed another treatment based on what they found from my response, having me be a little link in the chain of cancer discovery was what I had hoped for. I just didn't think I'd be here to see it. Where there's not a treatment anywhere else, there's NIH. They're producing those miracles, those cancer cures. We're looking at diseases that cause blindness and what we can do to both prevent that blindness to occur and actually to treat it. I always told everybody that I want to be a doctor that discovers new things. Yeah, and now I'm living my dream. We can combine our passion of being a scientist, of being curious, basic scientists and clinical scientists. We had stem cell biologists, we had surgeons, we had animal physiologists. Everybody was working on it with one mission, to bring something back to patients, where we can actually combine basic science, uh, technology, and clinics. You can't do that anyplace else, and that's the beauty of NIH. I'm a clinical research doctor here at NIH. One of the main diseases I take care of is known as Job syndrome. NIH is really excellent for studying rare diseases because there was really this intersection between academic medicine here with the basic lab component as well as the clinical care. We recruit patients from all over the country. They're often seen by people that have never heard of the disease. And here they are coming somewhere where not only do we know about the disease, but we see people, you know, just like them with similar issues. So the patients will often come and will stay and actually have a bone marrow transplant and be cured of the disease. Our hope is to really understand things that could affect the greater population. You really feel like you can make a difference here. I serve as the Deputy Director for Management. I'm now overseeing this huge operation to support all the research that's going on. The researchers in the labs, the physicians in the clinics are doing their best to get something better for patients, and we want to support them in every way that we can. In order for them to do their job, we have to do our job. You can think that you are quite far away from being in the clinic or being in a research laboratory, but when you can tie your, your, what you're doing to something that's going to help somebody, and you just want to get the job done, 
The NIH is a place of hope for everybody, no matter where you are in the world. These people, and so many more, make your NIH what it is today, a leading source of scientific knowledge. And while NIH conducts its own research, most of the NIH budget supports research at academic and medical institutions across the United States and around the world. The National Institutes of Health are a source of hope for all who care about their health and the health of future generations. Welcome to the National Institutes of Health. I'm Francis Collins, and it's my privilege to lead NIH. Today, NIH is the largest funder of biomedical research in the world. But we're also a family. We care for each other. We're proud to say that every year, our funding leads to breakthroughs in understanding of biomedicine and generates dozens of new inventions. Those discoveries in turn provide new ways to cure disease and prevent illness, as well as stimulating the economy. We're fortunate to work here at a remarkable time of discovery. The opportunities in science and medicine have never been more exciting or more urgent. That's why we think of NIH as not only the National Institutes of Health, but also the National Institutes of Hope. So thanks for visiting today to learn more about NIH and this important work. <laughs>